Well, Kinder Guppies, here we are again at the beginning of another wonderful book. This time, Mr. McComb has a non-fiction book called My First Animal Library, Raccoons. So I guess we get to learn more about raccoons today. Are you all ready? That's good, because here we go. As a non-fiction book, this story starts with a table of contents page, and it tells us that we're going to learn about raccoons at night, the parts of a raccoon's body, and it's going to show us pictures about the special science words we need to know. Raccoons at night. The sun sets. Night begins. And raccoons wake up. Look at that raccoon there, guys. See how he's crawling out of that hole in an old tree trunk? That's his den. That's where he lives. A raccoon climbs down from her den. She waddles over to a pond. She grabs a crab. Did you know that raccoons like to eat other animals, like crabs? I didn't know that. Her fingers open up the shell. I guess that's one way to get through the crab's hard outer shell. Use your fingers to pull it open. That way the raccoon can eat the juicy crab meat inside. A raccoon's sharp teeth can rip the food. Raccoon's eyes work very well in the dark. They use them to see food they want to catch and eat, like frogs and fish. A mama raccoon brings food back to her den, back to her babies. The hungry babies, called kits, wait for their mama in the den. Their cozy home is in a tree. The mama raccoon is back. The baby raccoons, the kits, come down out of the tree to meet her. They gobble up the food she brings. The mama teaches the baby raccoons how to sniff for food. She teaches them how to swim. Watch out, here comes a hungry fox. Get back into the den. The mother raccoon keeps her baby kits safe. The night is over, and the sun rises. Day begins. Now it's time for the raccoons to go to sleep. Here we can see the parts of a raccoon's body. Their eyes that help them see really good in the dark. Their ears that are really good at hearing, especially helpful in the dark. And their nose, they have a very strong sense of smell. So even if they can't see, they can always smell what they want to eat. And then they've got their paws with the strong little fingers that kind of look like human hands. And then we have the tail. Stripes cover the raccoon's bushy tails. Well, Kinder Guppies, that was a nice little non-fiction book all about one of our nocturnal friends, the raccoons. I hope this book made you wonder. Did you ask yourself questions? Did you learn something new? I sure hope you enjoyed it. And remember, I will talk to you all later.